Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new edition to the November Patreon contest. Now, I would love to just have this be anybody on the channel type contest. Like, you just answer a question and win. But shipping costs money. And I made it so you it's just a dollar. One dollar to join the Patreon. And every additional five dollars gets you another chance to win. Now we're going to be blasting Horns and Hooves, Morbid Lust. I love this release so much. Capes from Hell 2017. Officially licensed from Stitch and Black Hand. Now, I love horns and hooves, so I hit up Sheep's Head Bay Cult when we played St. Vitus a couple days ago and said, hey, we're going to be Saint, we're gonna be playing St. Vitus. Do you want to come out? Like, we'll put you on the guest list. And uh, AJ and Rob both came out and... Uh, we hung out and stuff, had a good time, and they gave me some extra goodies to give out to you maniacs, and here's the thing with the Patreon as well, but first, before we go over the additions to the November prize package, just in case you forgot, an XL possessed double-sided tea like again that alone I only I wore that twice maybe three times original corrosion of conformity eye for an eye yeah toxic shock records you even have the old like address of where to buy t-shirts and stuff. So this is in there as well. And it just gets better, trust me. There's going to be a nails poster. On Silent Death. And rain flexi seven inch. Thank you, A389. But uh Holy Mountain did this flexi for decibel, it says. Pro Fanatica, weeping in heaven, seven inch. Hell's Headbangers reissue. Never played. Like, legit, never played. And there's a nice, like, remake of the original... I'm drawing a blank on who did the original, but I remember uh, the dude was, I was cool with the dude, and then he just like fell off the face of the planet. I, I don't know. Like, he was like reissuing stuff and then just like vanished one day. I had never heard from him again. And yeah, this is part of the prize package still, also. But Herit drawing down the moon on vinyl. This is the Cavalt uh, record edition. Licensed by Svart. This is not the Nuclear War Now reissue. 
I held on to that version because it's a picture disc and matches my The Oath of Black Blood picture disc. So I figured, you know what? I'll pass this black metal gem on to somebody that supports and watches the channel. I mean, come on, this is Beherit drawing down the moon, and you can win this for a dollar if you're lucky. And Brian, I'm going to get your, your prize shipped out ASAP. I just have some gnarly family stuff going on right now. But I will get it to you ASAP, I swear. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm normally not like tardy like that with that type of stuff. Then Worm Blue Nothing on the B1 vinyl variant. First pressing, 20 bucks spin. No poster though, the poster has been given away already. So that's the only thing, I just want to give you a heads up. If you're like, where's the poster? But this is the B1 vinyl variant. It, you can, it's way sicker, like, in person, in the light. Like, there's all this, like, cool, like, I, I can't get a view on here, but, like, these bubble out. It's just pretty badass. I love horns and hooves, and I hope some of you like horns and hooves as well. But worm for uh, my bad uh, blue nothing. The all new four track mini LP of Necromantic Black Doom. This is the B1 Violet Cyan Aqua Blue Merge with Neon Violet and Silver Splatter. Hold on, this went in. That Mark Riddick Dragon is so badass. And I love the back artwork as well. Like, even with, like, the promo photos, like, when people hate on Worm, I get it, but, like, the aesthetic is done so well, like, shut up. Seriously, like, listen to, like, Evocation of the Black Marsh, Gloom Lord. Total, like, Goat Lord worship done so well. And lastly, on the vinyl front, we have Glass Coffin and Unrest Split on Appalachian Noise Records. Pretty sure this split of true Appalachian black metal is out of print because, to my knowledge, Appalachian Noise Records no longer is active. I'm not positive though. Copyright 2021. It's on black vinyl. Both bands logos. And Glass Coffin. Really good. Like really, really good. So yeah. And there's more. Undeath, lesions of a different kind, cassette on Maggot Stomp. You can go sell this if you want, do whatever. It's on you if you win. Here is Sanctuary Demo 3, I think. In this like screen printed case pretty cool. Some Pennsylvania area based U.S. black metal. 
And here we have Endless Nights by Apollo Larnix. I know I always mess that name up. Comes with an O card. Has never been played. The Corrosion of Conformity, Eye for an Eye cassette. The Possessed T-shirt. And now, thanks to Sheep's Head Bay Cult and Horns and Hooves. Brand new, large, double-sided, and if for some reason you have never heard Horns and Hooves, you get a sealed CD version as well. These are also going to be given to people for prizes. Brian, since your package is a little bit late, I'm going to throw one of these into a... Because I had to put yours in three separate boxes. Because you won the September and October packages together. So you got some gnarly... It's like 20 plus pounds. And... To me, this, again, again, one dollar gets you in here. Every additional five dollars gets you another chance to win, but this Sheep's Head Bay Cult crew neck sweatshirt. Large. You just get the, this is never, I have my own. Pat has his. My friend Angela that did the new Frogmas artwork. She has one. And I was left with an extra one. And I figured, you know what? Look at how badass that is. I think it's like a $45 value. Like, consider, I'm like pretty sure it's a $45 crew neck. Very comfortable. I've been wearing mine for over a year. But uh, Hanes Cotton Ultimate. The large is, it's seriously, it's so comfortable. If you want to look nice around the holidays, but still keeping it fucking evil, you can't go wrong with this crew neck. Because you got, you know, the cross turning towards hell. A pentagram and just look at those bat wings. One of the most metal animals on the planet, but hail sheep's head bay cult for adding these additional prizes to the November prize package. And you will also be getting some random Horns and Hooves merchandise. Some rare stuff here. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but some stickers. You're, you're getting hooked up this month. Just trust me. So that's everything. Hold on real quick. I'm going to put all of the new prizes in here. But let me. Now, Horns and Hooves are one of my favorite bands when it comes to just keeping shit evil. Now, I just rearranged like all my tapes yesterday. I'm going to have to finally... Do a room update because people legit. Oh, here we go. Duh, I could have just. See, now I'm sorry. This is the special limited edition of I Am the Skull Messiah, which is the new Horns and Hooves album. Which, again, you win if you win the prize pack. 
But this, I again, Horns and Hooves have the coolest merchandise ever. But we were hanging out. Awesome dudes. Just need the meat salpsin, man. But, all right, now I know where this is. Carcinoids going in its place. And Horns and Hooves is going to stay together. But real quick, I just want to throw a track from I Am The Skull Messiah on here. I mean, there's one point they're selling a certain substance to Jesus, and it is hilarious. Like, legitimately hilarious. If you're a sick fuck like me, I was laughing my ass off the first time I heard it. And then every time I went back and listened to it, because we list, I listen to this in the car. This and the pharmacist full length whenever I'm in the car, because they're like the only CDs in there. But this is the Morbid Lust. Uh, I don't know if it's a demo or EP, but uh, limited to 111 cassettes. I have number 79, and I have to thank, honestly, uh, Dennis. Dennis from Florida, man. I, I remember he, like, legit sent me this, and I just fell in love with it. And from there, Horns and Hooves got in contact with me, and then, like, it just really, you know, made shit awesome, like, having Sheep's Head Bay cult, you know, to me, it's kind of like sponsoring the channel a little bit, like, you know, sending shirts and tank tops, like, when I broke my neck, Sheep's Head Bay cult sent tank tops over, so I could, you know, still rep Sheep's Head Bay cult, but also be comfortable, like, just throw a tank top on, have a badass logo, but still, like, it was, I just, it was very appreciative, and, you know, it was never something we've spoken, like, oh, like, thanks for sponsoring the channel, and, but it's kind of this unspoken, like, to me, Sheep's Head Bay cult, so, that's one of the supporters of the channel, like, alongside Caligari Records, NVNM, Gray Sun Records, everybody in Salem, Oregon. Yeah, this is a Cemetery Seance shirt because, oh my. Yes, from the depths of Salem, Oregon. We have a full length from <laughs> Cemetery Seance. Like, oh my goodness. Blood soaked veils. I, I wish I had the uh, the rest of the packagings downstairs on my fridge. It's so badass. The letter, everything. Like, thank you. And real quickly, I will show you this t-shirt design. Um, let me throw this on first, and I'll show you the shirt design. Now, you might recognize that name, and that's because... Is it in here? It should be in here, but I have a feeling it's not. They did a split with Realms. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be what it should have been. Again, I rearranged everything yesterday, so I have to find everything over again. <laughs> but uh, Cemetery Seance did that split with um, Realms kind of recently. I, I know it's like over there. I just don't want to interrupt again. I apologize. But... Yeah, thank you to Cem uh, Cemetery Seance. Did I say Cemetery Lust at first? If I did, I'm sorry. But this shirt is awesome. The logo with, like, these ghouls. It's just classic shit. But... Horns and Hooves, I am the Skull Messiah, again. C 
CD and T-shirt will be added to the November prize package, as well as tons of gnarly rare items and this awesome Sheep's Head Bay Cult crew neck sweatshirt. Not long sleeve, crew neck. Uh, it's such a good release. Satan bust me down. You gotta love it. Gate my black and heart so such a good song. Like you have no idea if you haven't heard it, but here it is again. The boys hails and yes. I, I just come on, people. All the viewers. I love it never gets old. Like sleazy evil New York based black metal. Horns and hooves. I'm so glad they legit like threw us this stuff because I think it makes the package for the patrons a lot more gnarly worth the money and like i said it's just a dollar buy-in all you have to do is join the patreon and you can win all of this stuff which is worth well more than a dollar like i said the long sleeve alone is a 45 dollar value Pretty sure the Pro Fanatica 7 inch is out of print at the moment. You're getting hooked up. Like, I'll put it, you, you know that as well. This is out of print. The, the tape, the maggot stomp tape. Worm blue nothing. Glass coffin and unrest. Sanctuary demo. Corrosion of conformity, eye for an eye. The possessed double sided t shirt with Jeff on it, Baphomet, and inverted cross. The horns and hooves logo and Busey shirt. The sheep's head bay cult crew neck. And some very special, limited, rare Horns and Hooves merch. Again, you're getting hooked up this month. And Brian, you're also getting hooked up for September and October. I will get that prize pack out to you ASAP. The winner for November will be picked December the 4th. Just throwing that out there. Make sure you're all set. Best of luck to everybody. Congratulations again, Brian, for winning last month. You can win this month. Just a dollar to join the Patreon, and you can win all this stuff.
And again, every additional $5 gets you another chance. But let's say you donate $25, I give you six chances to win. No matter what, you just joining gets you an extra chance. If you're already a patron, same thing. Just because you're already a patron, it gives you an extra chance to win. So technically, if you have like a $5 donation, that's two entries. That's kind of how I worked it. Because otherwise, like, just, I mean, yeah. But anyways, that's how you enter. The link will be in the video description. And you win. I put everybody's name into a randomizer. And I put their name in as many times as they have donated when it comes to $5 and whatnot. But, like, it starts at a dollar. So everybody who is a patron... Your name gets put in once, no matter what. Then, whatever your donation is, I do the math and stuff, and your name might be in there. Uh, I forget who had, like, a $50 donation, but, like, I put their name in there, like, 12 times just to say thank you. And, uh, they sadly, like, uh, I felt bad, too. Just because, like, uh, he didn't win. But that that's the thing. Like, you're supporting the channel. You get content every day. It's just my way of saying thank you. So, thank you, and best of luck here. Seriously, like, again, to me, if I was watching a channel... And I didn't have a copy of Drawing Down the Moon. And I saw all this gnarly stuff that I could win for just one dollar. I would try and get that dollar. So, thanks for watching as always. Thank you to everybody that watches this channel. Especially the Patreon. Thank you to Horns and Hooves. Sheets Head Bay Cult. Last Ride Distribution. And, like I said you but also salem oregon cult eternal as well as sheep's head bay cult i can represent both thanks as always for watching you fucking rule hails good luck again this month <laughs>